Firelight has done everything in their power to make us feel really comfortable coming from a music-oriented DAW like Pro Tools or Live or Logic and applying our workflow to sound implementation in video games. So a sound designer would usually use Pro Tools or maybe Logic, and when they come into the FMOD environment, they won't be quite as confused as how things work. There will be certain aspects of the event editor where most of the magic takes place that seems familiar. So on the left-hand side, I have an event list, and these are all the events that could potentially be called out by the game. And I'm going to select Country, which is a selection of country ambiences where we're going to have these sound loops of ambiences that change throughout the day. So depending on the time of day, we have morning, noon, evening, or night, according to this parameter knob. Now let's have a look at what's going on here. In the event, this workspace in the event area, we have audio tracks. Those look very familiar. We have these sounds. That looks kind of familiar too. They'd be like sound regions in a digital audio workstation. Up top, we have sort of a global tracks area where we have markers and loops and uh, tempo markings and names and all that kind of cool stuff. That's all very familiar as well. We also have a master track that shows us after all of these sounds have been created, they're going to go out through this master bus so that we can mix them later on down the road into our game. So this is stuff that looks very familiar to us. If we are looking at an audio track and down below, I see in my deck area that I have volume, I have pre-effects that I can add, and post-effects that I can add. That all makes intuitive sense as well. Now, there are things that are different and things that we need to be mindful of coming to this program from programs like Logic or Live or Pro Tools. If I select a sound up here, for instance, uh, normally I would imagine if I was in a digital audio workstation that that was a single sound that was being triggered as a playhead moves past it. But in fact, that is a container that we have selected. And that multi-sound, as they call it, has multiple sounds inside of it that we can have chosen at random or by parameters, depending how we have it programmed. So instead of just having a single sound within the region that we have selected, we have multiple. And down below in our deck, we can see that there are multiple sounds in here. Each of those is a waveform. I also have these disclosure triangles they give me a lot more information about what's happening within this sound. So I've got an envelope, so the sound is going to come on slowly, and then it'll die out fairly slowly. On the left-hand side, I've got things like probability and start offset and voices. Now if I select the audio channel strip, the deck actually changes. So the deck changes dynamically depending on the things that we have selected. So that's pretty cool, and it also reminds us about certain other digital audio workstations that we may have worked in live. So on the right-hand side, we have properties and 3D preview. These are actually event-based. So we have our properties, which are going to be talking about the entire event and giving us a description of what's going on. Then we also have a three-dimensional preview for sounds that exist in three dimensions. Sometimes in audio implementation of video games, there are two-dimensional sounds, which basically take up a stereo field, and then there are three-dimensional sounds, which sound as though if your character turns their head, uh, they're located somewhere in space. So that's pretty cool. Up top, we have our transport controls, you know, stop and play. Then we have our time code. We also have sort of an arrange view and a mixer view. All of these things look very familiar and will help us with our transition from working in a digital audio workstation to working within the event editor in FMOD Studio. Down below we also have this sort of way that we can navigate. We've seen this in Pro Tools, we've seen it in Live and other programs where if we were zoomed in really far on this we'd be able to go in and select an area of our event and get to it very quickly. All of these things are seen, things that we've seen before. And like I said, Firelight's trying to make it as easy as possible for us to come into this environment and feel comfortable and not feel freaked out by all the cool, nonlinear, wacky stuff that FMOD Studio does. So now that we've had sort of a general flyover and we're feeling a little less intimidated by what FMOD Studio looks like and how it performs in general, let's get into the event editor and sort of look at its different windows really quick and just do a little flyover of that.